Uh, so Luke is a kind, funny, empathetic, warm, smart, slightly mischievous <laughs> 14-year-old boy who happens to have Down syndrome. He is also diagnosed with anxiety disorder and sensory processing disorder, which I think those two things combined are actually a little more challenging than his Down syndrome diagnosis. His first few years of life were very complicated with a lot of very serious medical needs. Um, he was in and out of the hospital constantly. Also had, he was in early intervention, had therapies pretty much every day. So there wasn't a lot of time for him to have social um, activities outside of that. Maybe around age four or five was when he first started with the inclusion support through WDSRA. And it was wonderful. It was perfect for him at that time. Um, he was with his neighborhood friends, his typical developing peers, and so it really helped him grow. Um, around probably third or fourth grade, where that gap starts to widen, we realized that he probably needed a little bit more of a specialized program. Now, he had progressed greatly. He was running, same with all the kids, had become much more verbal, but just needed a lot more support. and. At that point, kids kind of start to go more, you know, travel, a little more competitive. So we thought, okay, we need something more specialized for him where he can meet other kids like him, other kids with needs. And so that's when we went more into the straight WDSRA programs. So we started with a basketball class. He loves basketball. He has an older brother who plays basketball and he idolizes him. So we thought this is perfect. I was still a little nervous. I am a little protective, <laughs> um, but I thought, let's just try it. So the first day we went there and I was planning to go into the gym with him to help because I felt like, what if they can't understand what he's saying? And he right away ran right in, told me to leave. <laughs> but I knew right away, he walked in there, no nerves, just I could tell he felt like, this is my place. I feel comfortable. I'm with other peers who have needs like me and we're all different and we're all here together just to have fun. But now it's the thing he looks forward to the most in his week. Um, and he will tell everybody about it. <laughs> we, a couple of summers ago, I made the big step to sign him up for um, some of the summer Friday field trips, which I, I was hesitant to do because it's all day. I'm really not there. He's getting on a bus with people we don't know. And again, he's seen his siblings do this for years and years, and he could not have been more thrilled to say goodbye to us and hop on that bus and know he was going somewhere fun for the day. And again, me dropping him off, I knew, even though I was nervous, I knew he was going to be okay. I knew he was in good hands with the counselors. He was going to meet new friends and continue to gain that independence that he so greatly needed and wanted. The unknown is scary. <laughs> um, with each phase of life with him, we've, we've learned a lot, but I would say ultimately our goal is independence. We want him to have an active social life which we know Wedstra will help with that. Just want him to have live life to the fullest, what we want for all of our kids. It's no different. Um, while his path may look different and we may need to find some other avenues, we want him to live independently, thrive, active social life, have different activities at his disposal that, he, that will help him grow. I would like donors to know that Luke has a gift. I like to call it a superpower. He can make everyone feel loved and welcome and included and special, anyone. And for him to have a place where that is reciprocated, reciprocated for him is invaluable, um, as I said, to him and to our family for him to go into any of these programs and immediately feel that love and warmth that he gives out to anyone he meets, uh, sorry, <laughs> is um, something that we are beyond grateful for.